Alrighty, in conjunction with the two videos prior to this one, in this playlist I've got, <laughs> the value or agreed upon rate of exchange between whatever goods you want to acquire or need to acquire and whatever part of this currency money fallacy that I'm generating as an idea for you to use. Let's say you go with the, the copper bit for the mass amounts of uh, interchangeability. <clears throat> You're going to have to agree that the value of a, a home or the materials to build a home or food or seeds to grow food along with other materials or whatever land whatever property uh, whatever whatever in the whole sphere of it interchangeable and exchangeability between you know goods services product properties etc and the bits of copper the grams you're going to have to agree globally, holistically, that this item has this level of value and it will never rise or fail below this bracket or this set value. You're going to have to agree and honor the agreement of value for every last single item, every last apple, orange, peach, and pear, every last seed every last beam plank and fucking cut down tree of wood to manufacture whatever material you're gonna make out of it every every last single nail and hammer every last fork plate spoon knife glass every last fucking thing in existence that you change as a good or a service or a product or a property for your money or currency. You're going to have to agree that these values will never go beyond a certain bracket, preset maximum and minimum limits, or a certain standard value that will never change at all. You're going to have to agree and honor that agreement to maintain your self-control to not be greedy. You're going to have to honor those things and respect the value of the currency you're agreeing upon. If you don't, your entire system will collapse in on itself again. If you think I'm joking, Rome, Greece, the Weimar Republic, Japan, Venezuela, look at what's happening currently in America. Look at the Look at the last 50 years of rising cost of living, inflation, and how little that the federal minimum wage rose to match it. So that you're constantly working for more and more, and you're getting less and less in return for your service. And that's to say nothing about the individuals in charge of companies being so greedy that they'll only raise that minimum wage once it's a federal regulation. That shows you how little honor, respect, discipline, and self-control they really have. That shows you that there is what kind of a future? None at all for any fallacy of value and currency and money. Because the human species never has honored it, never has respected it, never has had the discipline and the self-control to uphold it. And you never will. So all these ideas I've generated, they don't mean jack shit unless you base your entire existence upon the currency and the money of honor, discipline, self-control and respect I've said all that needs to be said in these three videos 
on top of all that I've said you can start to build something real something that will last something that will be used but keep in mind this system is only as good as training you as a species holistically to work the fuck together to manage your resources once you get past that point once you've gotten to the point where you're instinctively training your offspring from birth to have honor discipline respect self-control to manage their resources to take care of themselves at that level once once you started doing that then you can revisit the entire system of money and currency and begin to disassemble it because at that point you will need to shift from that particular set of guidelines that is meant to help you go past that system so that you'll be better than it into a system of resource management where you've built on the foundation stones of honor discipline respect self-control then you will have passed the need for a physical currency or money then that entire system of currency and money either the one that I've <laughs> built in my dystopian explanation of how it would work or whatever system that comes next after this global reset happens but the one I built it's set up to make you better as a person to surpass it more quickly so that the human species holistically can get the fuck on with its existence can get past this block that has lasted for thousands of years that you still haven't fucking surpassed it's one of the tests of corruption and you failed it countless fucking times because I'm not gonna bother to count them there's been ten major times where the whole species of humanity has failed and went instinct, extinct and then was you know re-evolved and brought back this is the tenth time this is the last time it's ever gonna happen because if you if you destroy yourselves and go extinct this time you're not coming back the rest of the universe the rest of all of existence will not tolerate your continuous failure of the test of corruption I don't know what else to tell you <laughs> that's it the whole system that I've set up that I've thought of it's dystopian because you don't get to use gold silver or any of that for jewelry you don't get to have any beauty in it or any artistic creativity it's cut and dry it's really really dystopian because there's no creativity after you get past that then you can start with the creativity you can throw away the system of rules and regulations and start using the those shiny metals as jewelry again because you'll have the four basic pieces of foundation you need on which to build the rest of your existence. I've pitched a similar idea of um, a series of things that will lead to that eventuality that I want to get to. Where there is no use of currency or money altogether. We just do what the fuck needs to be done because it needs to be done. 
I've pitched a similar idea to the local electric company about a, a resource management and energy recycling intensive system where initially yeah there's gonna be a huge upfront cost and for resources materials labor putting it together but once it's in place you focus exclusively on the maintenance of the the system and charge customers accordingly reducing the overall cost over time reducing the need and the drug addiction level addiction to money and currency because humanity you are fucking addicted to this fallacy of money and currency you're addicted via greed if I took the symptoms I'm observing prostitutes suck dick for dollars people are willing to kill each other for dollars people are willing to steal for it you're willing to put yourself into situations you normally wouldn't go into such as prostitutes sucking dick for money people are willing to go and kill for it <laughs> the, those three things that's the signs of an addiction of an addict who is severely addicted to a drug that they're willing to do anything to acquire it that they're willing to con other people out of what they have in order to get it just replace insert drug here with the word money or currency well there was a it was a nice story about someone tripping on LSD who sat there and ripped their face off and fed it to their dog. Well, that's not very far off from the television show uh, Fear Factor where people subjected themselves to situations they normally wouldn't go into with the hopes of getting money. Just think about it. Think about what I've said in these three videos. And for the uh, short term foreseeable future, use the links in the description to throw some fallacy credits my way. And until next time, fuck off.